Hi everybody, welcome back to Film Valor. I'm Adam. And I'm Jameson. And uh, I guess this is our first uh, episode back in a long time. Uh, it's been a long time. Yeah, I, I think we've just really just been busy and... Um, yeah. We've been writing, working, and uh, we finally found some time to, to sneak in a quick episode about some news that recently came to, uh, to light about uh, James Gunn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, supposedly he's back in. Which I, I like to think we were a part of, but I, I, you know, probably not. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, who, who knows? <laughs> I mean, who knows? I mean, it's... Uh, Maybe one of those uh, 700 views were a guy that said, you know what? These guys right. are right. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, to tell you the truth, I'm still a little... I don't know everything, so I'm still a little rocky about it. I mean, oh, yeah, I'm okay. not like... I can go through... You know, I'm not totally convinced it was the right decision or the wrong decision. Oh, but yeah, like, okay. In terms of, like, if there was anything more than just the tweets or if anything like that, mm. you know, then I think there, there needs I, to be thing. But I think if it was just for the tweets that, uh, you know, got him to some trouble, I think, you know what, I'm glad that he's back. Yeah, I you know the, you know you bring up a good point, which is like you know we don't did we ever know the full scope of the James Gunn? You know, for those of you uh, uh, joining us, you know, well, let's just fill in really quickly. James Gunn, who is the director of the very ultra famous Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel brand series, uh, was fired over a series of tweets uh, that were released by a third party from years, 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 and years ago. Uh, before he was taking on Guardians of, you know, jokes about pedophiles and the giving tree and, and uh, all sorts of very, very... Uh, uh, risky. Uh, r- risky and gross, inappropriate. inappropriate comments. And we can agree that they are actually definitely pretty gross. Like, we're not arguing that they're not. Um, I mean, shouldn't he, sh- like, does he have the right to say it? Uh, uh, I guess loose. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm sure he's riding on a line when he said those tweets. Uh, should he have said that? Uh, no, I think not. I think, I think even, I mean, it, it's it's just a little too, uh, the, a little too dry. The the thing that's, I think I like to point out the reason why I feel so firmly on on his side though, is because of the fact that it was actually something that listening to Red Letter Media. Uh, pointed out as well, and I love those guys because they're just hysterical. But they pointed out something as well, which is like you know, this is a guy that that came from out of trauma. And if anyone's familiar with the independent film scene, especially in B movie, B horror film, uh, the Toxic, Toxic Avenger, Avenger and all those movies, uh, trauma is is the company that makes those kinds of movies. And James Gunn was really in the was really really started there before he did anything even remotely commercial uh or probably would even we could say good um so that's the school he comes from and all of that stuff is about lewd comments and dry humor, sexual things sexual, yeah it's, and it's things very... thing everything with that company is 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 you know exploitation films i mean that that is everything about it is uh, how can we get a rise out of someone? Which is exactly what those Twitter comments to me uh, represent is somebody who had not matured beyond that point. Um, granted, are those people immature or not? Well, I I think so, uh, but that's that's you know that's the same mentality there that he hadn't left yet. So the fact that the the thing that the that doesn't make sense to me or baffles me is why would Disney be shocked by those kinds of things in his past? I mean, I'm sure he's even said out loud to people. No, I'm sure he's made those even comments. worse. You, you know, yeah, he's probably in person. He probably yeah. said something a lot worse. But the thing is, I think the question is that people have to ask, especially in the entertainment field now, is: Are we going to be held completely responsible for something that happened? What this happened in what two thousand three or something like that? Right. Yeah. yeah I yeah. mean, for something that happened about what fifteen, sixteen years ago. I yeah. Mean, uh, uh, like, I mean, because if that's the case, 
you know, I, I, I'd say everybody's guilty of, of putting out a Facebook MySpace, probably MySpace at that time, or a tweet, you know, that, you know, that was, you know, maybe a little too, maybe a little insensitive, maybe took a little right. too far or in, in, in what not. But if, if, but if that's the case, if we're going to hold him to that standard, well then, hey guys, you're all fair game. It's true, because, anybody is, really. Because, oh, because the people that are watching this, hopefully you guys are filmmakers, and you guys do take this seriously, but don't, for, you know, if you, you know, if you look at it this way, if, if it was only just about tweets, uh, tweets that were, you know, you know, dry and they were sick or whatever, it's still free speech, and the thing is, yeah. if they could come for him, they could go for you. Yeah, and for anybody, really, for anything. It's it's kind of like you know when when you have that conversation with you know I guess an, an older person and they say oh I I can't believe that I would have worn an outfit like that in the seventies you know it's kind of like that it's like you know at that time that decision made sense to you you know so can we what if but then what if we turned around and said oh that person needs to be arrested for that decision right. no you, you never know it's really, almost kind of like really that understand when like especially older people when they say. Yeah, uh, it, it's not an excuse. I I never like thought of it as an excuse, and I never thought they were using it as an excuse. But when they say you know times were different, yeah, it more than ever it actually makes sense more than ever. Yeah, now. to and me it's not just well, about yeah. ages. I think it's just about our time because there's so many conflicting yeah issues. There's a shift, and I think James Gunn was just a. Uh, I think he was part of that. You yeah, know, he right, came from exactly. a different time. A different, uh, as you said, he came from, you know... Uh, out of that you world. Know, trauma, you know, and out of that world. In, in, in a world where where he started out, that's where his comfort zone was, or that was... That's how, that's that's how, how he, he fit in. found himself to right. be, and now he's doing Guardians of the Galaxy, which is probably a completely 180 you right. know, from what he what, what he's doing. I mean, I'm sure there is some of that humor or that... Yeah, the, the funny part is that's, I think, ultimately what made him so good at Guardians was the fact that he understood that type of rocket rac- raccoon. And let's go back to Guardians. I mean, to tell you the truth, out of all the Marvel movies, I think Guardians is probably... And we were talking about this. It's probably one of my favorites. Yeah, because it, doesn't it probably have, is one of the best. The characters are, are are very good. Their the relationships are very good. The the actors are very good. They're not you know. I, I'm a big fan of Chris Pratt. Um, and 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 it didn't seem there there was like there was any like there was it didn't seem like there was anything behind it. You mm-hmm. know, in terms of anything you know going on with let's say political stuff and right. whatever. It didn't feel like that. I my mind was completely forgone about that. When I watched Guardians, because it it, it was yeah. funny, it, it dealt with relationships. It was good, uh, and, it, and it was just a cool. It was a, it, whether yeah. you're uh, guy buddies or girl buddies or whatever. It was there. It was that movie. It was that. It was movie escapist like, cinema at its best, yeah, like it really the way was. Star Wars is supposed to be. It really was. I'll tell you another thing too that is that is interesting, and I like to even challenge the audience to think about this as well. The the quality of Guardians is so is is so good that it 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 is is it not hard to think of even out of the Marvel movies alone, uh, a series or a fran- a small uh, franchise let's say of characters within these franchises, let's talk about Guardians or Iron Man or or even Spider Man where you had a good right. first movie. And then actually also a really good, almost on the same level, second movie. Yeah. We can't say that about Iron Man. Uh, um, Thor, we can't say that about. We finally got a good Thor movie on the third one. Uh, Captain America was a little rocky, but you know then it got actually very, very good. Yeah. Um, so uh, The Hulk 2 was better, wasn't it? Hulk 2 was a little bit better. Yeah. But Hulk 1 was like... Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, that was it. But Avengers it. 2 wasn't too good. Yeah. So, I mean, if we're being real here, and you know, a, a lot of this, I don't blame, you know, whatever, it's, uh, it is what it is. Uh, sometimes it's just the secret sauce that doesn't work. That's fine. I don't, I don't say any of those filmmakers are bad filmmakers at all. No, I think it's, it's just, it, it just whatever, it's, it's whatever a, it, happened, happened. It's a hit, it, 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 hit or you know, miss. Hit or but miss. But you know what? With Gunn, he had two, I would say, hits. I would say so. I and mean, and I didn't how many want, other times I can you say, say that? Honestly, I couldn't say the second one was... I still felt the second one a little bit lacking in. It was some still areas. weak. It was weaker. It was weaker, but you know what? It it was a lot better than I expected. Right. One. 
two, and most importantly, compared to other, you know, sequels, other sequels, it was very strong. Yeah, right, exactly. That's exactly how I place it, too. So that's the other thing that I think is important, that I think also... And they brought in characters. It, it, was some, it, it wasn't just, you know, yeah. you know, just, you know, serving you the same thing and just flipping it over. You right. Know, it, you know, it, it gave you, you know, it gave you something a little bit more, nothing too extravagant, I don't think. No. But it was, you know, it was good to keep you still hooked on it. Let's just talk about quickly, uh, before we sort of sign off here, two things that are in the article that maybe our audience didn't know about, which is interesting to us. Because again, we do respect James Gunn and we were, we were following this story, but I, there was parts of it we didn't even know about. First of all, there was a sign... Uh, that was the, a billboard that was paid for right. by a group of people that had raised the money on crowdfunding that had said, bring James Gunn back for uh, volume three. And that, that was a great thing that we didn't even know about. I mean, I, I didn't know that was the thing happening when we made our episode that, that time ago and everything else. So it was good to see the fans supporting him. Uh, and also, we did not know that Disney had been in talks with him ever since this thing fell apart, uh, which is very interesting. They also had admitted that they did not look for another director during that time period. So it also made Adam and I question if they were even seeking another director. No, I mean, uh, Because maybe they weren't. So that's another interesting level of this. Is maybe think, they were just like, let's lay low. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> yeah, I, think, really I think that's what they told Gunn. Was like, you know, just, you know, let's just lay low a while. Let's see how this thing plan, you know, you know, folds out. And, uh... And and obviously there, as you said with the billboard, I don't know if maybe maybe that did it. Who knows? Maybe, was billboard before or after the? Uh, um, oh yeah, no. It, what what happened was is they they got they fired him and then like weeks later they put it oh, right, so this, right near okay. yeah so, the so sign is it. right there and I think it's All near right, Disney. So yeah, Island. I mean it's, I, it's I think they told him to just place. lay low. You know, see so yeah, how this pans out because honestly. As I said before in the beginning of this episode, if it, you know, if, if a guy says some tweets that you don't like or that we could all agree are a little bit inappropriate, pretty much very inappropriate, let's just give it that. Yeah. It, that is no reason for him to lose his job or... Ten years okay, later. Ten years later. It's good to see that Disney is, uh, you know, not, not just forgotten about him, but decided that his voice was important and should be heard and, on these movies. You know, uh, whether or not he had done the right thing or not is, 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 uh, you know, I, I guess at this point is irrelevant. And he, 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 he was, they, Disney had stated that he handled the entire situation very professionally and well. And I agree with that. And so I think that's what matters ultimately at the end of the day. Yeah. No, so. I'm, we're not condoning what he said. We're not, you know, supporting, uh, uh, any of those statements. Really anything, really. We're just saying that we're just really, you know, we're happy it worked out. It, we, we, yeah, exactly. We're happy that it worked out. Uh, we're, we're, you're going to be hearing uh, more from us in the weeks upcoming. Uh, we'll be uh, letting you guys know some news about uh, our, our short film and things that are coming up. Um, so we, we're very excited about a couple, couple different things that are happening. We've been working hard on, uh, on a bigger project as well. Yeah, we got one in development uh, development now. Right. Um, also, uh, we have some news about uh, another short film that we're uh, we're gonna put into another episode later on, uh, probably this month, and uh, keep you guys updated. And uh, we're looking at good things right now, aren't we, Jameson? Very good. Yeah. All right. So, guy. All right, guys. So, have a good night. Take care. Be well.